Home is where the memories are, and for one 92-year-old veteran, it also happens to be a part of local history. Amy Hogan explains in tonight's Legacy Landmarks. Visiting Dean Ottaway, 92 years old, just old enough to know better. Soft-spoken, but with a quick sense of humor. Apart from his service in World War II, he flew 44 missions all over Europe. Ottaway has lived his life here in Port Crane. The kitchen in our house was here. This house on the corner of Pine and Albany streets, his pride and joy. Anything that was done to this building, I, I did it. It's where he spent his happiest days raising his family, three girls and one boy, with wife Dorothy, the love of his life. I picked up a glass of beer and picked it up and there was her mother sitting over there. Beautiful, beautiful girl. The two married in 1947 and moved into this house in 1954. It was a two-room school. Built in 1856, the Port Crane Schoolhouse, or Schoolhouse Number 2, was one of at least seven in the area. It was a century away here. Ottaway's daughter, Debbie, still has the original deed. The use of purpose of a site for a public schoolhouse and school in the said district and for none others. Around 30 kids went to school here, including Jack Ottaway, Dean's big brother. At the time, we, we lived up the Valley Act, and I can remember, at, I don't know what time in the afternoon, I would walk down the road to the end of our property and meet him come walking home from school. Jack also enlisted, but never returned home from the war. The little white schoolhouse where Jack Ottaway used to sit in the second row was replaced when a new school was built just up the hill, now Fenton Town Hall. But a use was soon found for the old schoolhouse. Ottaway's parents bought it, turning it into a community center. Nobody else had a building big enough to hold it. We used to hold Boy Scouts there. Mother and Dad used to hold parties there. Friends of theirs. Uh, See you Saturday club. Every Saturday, that's how it got its name. Picnics and potlucks in the summer, television and bridge games in the winter. The building as it is, they just evolved one step at a time. A building, then a home, that holds a lifetime of memories. So you can understand why Dean took it so hard when his kids broke the news last January he could no longer live there. He had been living alone after he lost Dorothy in 2006. I was a lucky man. Dean now lives at the Oxford Veterans Home, but his heart will always be here. What does that place mean to you? It's home. In Port Crane, for Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Amy Hogan.